It's important in a tactical environment to always have a light mounted on your weapon. The reasons we do that is most operations will take place uh, in the evening time or inside of a structure where you need the light. We designed the new VTAC light mount in response to our customers asking for a light mount that allowed them to easily put a smaller diameter light in the mount. So instead of wrapping tape around the light, now you can just uh, use the shim that's provided with the light mount, simply slide the, the uh, E-series type light into the mount, and you're good to go. The first one that we have is the G2 series or one inch or slightly larger light. Simply remove the shim from the light mount and from there we'll just take the light, slide it into the mount. Once it's in the mount, take the provided wrench and tighten the screws and then mount it on the weapon system. If you have an E-series type light, simply take the light mount align the pocket clip which does not have to be removed to put the light into the mount align it with the slot slide it through it goes all the way through even if you have the long the uh, long pocket clip take the provided wrench tighten the screws to hold the light in place clamps down on the light from there we simply loosen the two mounting screws, place the light mount on your Picatinny rail, tighten the two screws, once you've tightened the two screws, the light mount is ready to go, you're in action. The other thing that's nice about this light mount, it actually offsets the light mount from the side of the weapon, so it gives you a lower profile, it eliminates the need for a tape switch on the back of the, of the light, you can just use the push button to activate the light and have less white light uh, accidental discharges. To remove the shim from the Viking Tactics light mount, simply loosen the two screws, That clamp the light into the mount, pry the light mount apart with your fingers, twist the shim until it aligns with a slot, push the light mount out, a correction, push the shim out, now the shim is removed to replace the shim, take the shim, slide it back into the slot, twist it until the teeth align with the slot, and now the shim is back in place. Thank <laughs> you.